Yo, what's going on boys? Today I'm going to be showing the top 5 best decks for July 2024. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe and starting at number 1, Goblin Drill. This one's pretty obvious I guess because Goblin Drill has been the most broken cycle deck for a while and now that the Goblin Drill got an evo, it's going to be super popular but I think specifically this variant is going to be pretty popular. Magic Archer Nato is a really good combo with the Goblin Drill and Dark Prince helps beat mirror matchups which is going to be like the cycle deck mirror matchup next season. The most popular one but anyways gonna focus on the game now okay this guy's playing mighty matter demolisher i'm gonna go for a test on the middle oh nice perfect okay he's gonna be playing goblin drill as well i'm really glad because now i can show how good the dark prince is in the mirror matchup okay easy counter on the demolisher by the way i'm a little bit sick again so if i sound weird just ignore it i realized this morning that i sound really weird and metro is not in the best state but it's okay gonna go for a marcher in the back to cycle actually i don't need to i can just goblin drill and then try to go for the marcher on the demolisher if he's playing mighty matter demolisher drill he shouldn't really have a second support unit that means i can definitely snap out the demolisher he's probably gonna block it with the mighty matter but it's okay i think it's still worth it though Ooh, that's gonna be a ton of damage right there he also missed the block with the skeletons i'm gonna go for a log that's gonna be like five hits on the tower and a log Okay, that was a lot of damage. I definitely should be able to win now. I think to defend, all I have to do is drop a Dark Prince, which is so nice because he has to go for like Demolisher Log or like Demolisher Skeletons, Ice Spirit, whatever. But all I have to do is drop a Dark Prince and it's full countered. Like, look at this. Took the Death Bomb, yeah, but now it's full countered. I don't even think the shield goes off. Never mind, it did go off. But yeah, pretty broken. I'm going to go for a Goblin Drill on the tower right now. Counter push every time you have stuff coming down the lane and Goblin Drill mirrors, by the way. You want to be super aggressive and get a lot of damage. So it's always better to like pressure a lot. I'm going to cycle back to my drill pretty quick because he spent a lot of elixir there and I also realized that I was up like six elixir. So I'm going to go for a Dark Prince. Going to go for a Goblin Drill on the town. Okay. Looking good. I can go for an Ice Spirit. Going to Tornado here so that I get a really good Ice Spirit. Nice. Okay. Perfect. Also gonna march her, even though it might only be one shot. That's gonna be one. Oh, two shots. Yo, okay, I'll take it. <laughs> really worth it. Baited out a whole Tesla, and I still got two shots on the tower. Not balanced. Gonna go for Evo Skellies on the Goblin Drill. Okay, I thought the Fireball Hole was on the Evo Skelly, so I kind of panicked. But it was on the Tesla and the tower. I'm gonna go for a Goblin Drill on the side. And once again, guys, I really apologize about my voice today. Like I'm not feeling so well, but. Hopefully it's still like audible. I'm gonna go for a tornado. Okay, I think log nato is enough to finish off the game. So I'm gonna get to my log and my arrows. The goblin luckily got a hit right there off the nato. Okay, I'm gonna nato now, and that is gonna be a good game. So number one deck of this season definitely gonna be goblin drill. You can mark my words on that. Gonna hop right in. Alright, I'm in my next match here, and deck number two. A lot of you guys probably guessed it, but it is gonna be goblin giant. So goblin giant just now got an evo as well, and. It's pretty broken to begin with, but now that I got an Evo, it's going to be super popular. And I think Goblin Giant Double Prince is going to be meta. Number one, Prince is so broken. And the fact that Dark Prince also full counters drill and stuff is going to be so nice. I feel like this deck specifically might go crazy, but could be wrong though. Okay, unfortunate start that I cycled a Muskie in the back, but I'm just going to tower trade. Or try to tower trade at least. Okay, I'm going to rage right now. The balloon should not take out my entire King Tower, hopefully. Dang, okay, that was like four hits on my King Tower. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> That's annoying. That is so annoying, but I think I'll be able to win them. My Prince is full HP right now. I don't know how he's gonna stop the damage. Okay, he kind of like stopped it with the Ice Golem and the Musketeer, but missed the Snowball on my Muskie, so I'm looking good. King Tower at 923. To be fair, I can probably just like Prince at the bridge and take it out right now, even though I think he's back to Lumberjack. He's back to like Knight and stuff. Should be back now anyways, but... Yeah, I think I could still try to go for it because then I go Goblin Giant and then Rage and he can't do anything about it. So I think I'll be fine. I'm going to go for a Prince. Going to wait to see if he goes for a Knight. Yeah, let's go for the Knight. So now what I can do is I can actually go for a Goblin Giant, but I'm not going to do it yet. I don't want to get base raced on. I feel like he's just going to try to go for my King Tower. So Fisherman in the back, pretty safe play because he doesn't really have any card that can like get hooked into my tower and me dying off that. Like, for example, Giant Skelly. Pekka, stuff like that, you don't want to do that. Okay, Goblin Giant in the middle, but I also kind of made sure that it would go in front of the Fisherman. Not bad. 
Okay, Dark Prince over here, and then I'm gonna avoid on the balloon so I don't lose my entire King Tower. Okay. I'm looking good. Maybe I can just rage on the Goblin Giant and take the King Tower. Nice. Okay. Balanced. <laughs> I'll take that for sure. But yeah, deck number two definitely gonna be Goblin Giant, and that game was kind of quick because we had a base race. Alright, I'm in a match here, and deck number three is going to be the Rocket Cycle deck. Now, you guys probably saw this coming because Rocket Cycle has been the best deck in the meta for, I think, like two and a half months, but. I think it's still going to be really good, especially because it counters Goblin Drill, or you can just like interchange a card or two to make a counter Goblin Drill. And since Goblin Drill is going to be the most broken cycle deck in the meta, I feel like this deck is also going to be up there because it completely hard counters Goblin Drill. Okay, in this match, I'm going to be playing a level 11 Demolisher because I don't really have a max on this account, so just going to have some fun. Maybe I can still win, I don't know, but I'll try my best. Okay, Lava Hound, definitely not a fun matchup either. Super bad matchup, but I just have to play smart, not gonna lie. I could probably win off the Demolisher. Okay, does go for the arrows. Kind of makes me want to go Demolisher because I don't think he's gonna want to commit like a whole evil barbs on top. He might try to go for like one of the air cards. I don't know, but I'm like 90% positive he's not gonna barbs. Yeah, I kind of knew it, so. Good damage right there. Imagine that was maxed out. That would have been so much more damage. And I would have gotten the bomb on the tower. He couldn't have stopped it like that, but it's okay gonna go for ice spear at the back it would be kind of crazy if i beat this matchup with a level 11 demolisher I'm gonna go for skellies i just want to bait out the evil barbs at this point probably gonna minor or something yeah let's go for the minor on defense i'm gonna go for a princess on the opposite lane to help out the tower with the inferno dragon and the minor hopefully he doesn't like zap or anything because that would be pretty horrible i mean i could ice spear but kind of trust my dagger okay definitely should have ice speared it all right, I'm going to bait out the evil barbs here. Just going to spam and then going to log as well in a second. I'll just go log over here now. Yo. Oh my god, okay. That was really good. That was honestly a really amazing play. I just kind of spammed everything into the evil barbs. Kind of knowing that he would go for the evil barbs and they got shredded. So now I can princess. Probably going to go for like skelly drags whenever he has enough. Yeah, just go for the skelly drags. I'm going to go for a knight. I'm keeping this guy on his toes, not going to lie. I'm not like letting him build up a push or anything he's just defending my stuff back to back so i'm looking really good right now i'm gonna go for a demolisher in the back probably gonna kite that away with the evo skeletons and then i'll try to go for like an ice spear and a tesla yeah i'll just go for the ice spear first and then tesla i kind of leaked a little bit there but i wanted the eye drag to not lock on the tesla right away okay looking good gonna go for a princess in the back I'm just going to rocket both. Rocket's going to be really valuable defending the lava loop push. Oh, horrible Evo Zap. Okay, that was definitely not the Evo Zap he was looking for. My Evo Tesla should be able to take care of like basically everything here. I'm going to go for Evo Tesla. Okay, he's already back to a second balloon, but I'm just going to rocket on the balloon. That was super clean. I didn't think I would defend without taking any damage, but the only damage I took was from the arrows, I think. So that was really good. I'm gonna go for a princess in the middle. I think I like guaranteed win now because that was his one big push that didn't work out. So now I can just kind of roll him. I'm gonna go for skellies and then a demolisher on the minor. That way it doesn't take out my entire tower and then I can rocket cycle. Yeah, I'm just gonna rocket on the tower right now. Actually gonna Tesla first and then I'll go rocket so that he can't really pressure me after a rocket. I'm gonna go for ice spirit, gonna knight in the middle to kind of save the Tesla and then I'll go rocket now. Okay, almost back to my second Tesla, and he also just played a Lava Hound, so he definitely can't beat the Rocket Cycle. He's also going to have the arrows on the Evo Skellies. Yeah, nice. Ice Spirit, log it, I'm back to Rocket, so I'm just going to Rocket on the tower, and that is going to be a good game. I'll take the win. Pretty solid win, but, like, the matchup was so horrible. I don't know how he lost that, but I'll take it, I'll take it. I'm not complaining. going to hop right in. All right, deck number four is going to be the RG Monk deck. RG Monk has been meta for like a while now, a month and a half maybe, but this deck is going to be really nice because it counters most of the cycle deck, although probably not Goblin Drill, if Goblin Drill is going to be on its prime this season, but it's going to be able to counter like a lot of beatdown as well as cycle decks, especially with Monk being really good versus Dagger Duchess and like a lot of beatdown cards in general. So I'm going to focus on the game facing Mega Knight right now. Megan at bad, so definitely gonna be like minor little prints and stuff. I think I could defend this, but I just have to be careful not to let him minor block. I'm gonna fish him in the middle, and then I'm just gonna go for a phoenix on top of the LP. Okay, looking good. Should not be able to pop the ability on the little prints. I'm gonna activate King Tower. Actually, I think I could pull it off. 
Yeah, I think that's uh, enough HP on the Magnet for it to activate. Nice, okay. Perfect. I'm also gonna log try to defend the wall breakers. Yo, come on. No, okay. You know what? I'll take that. That was actually really good because I got the King Tower activation and even though I'm down damage right now, that was an amazing sequence and I was able to defend a lot of stuff after getting activation. So I think I'll be able to save my tower. Only problem is evil wall breakers. I don't really have anything for the evil wall breakers in my deck. I do have a log, but like, I don't know if it's going to be worth it to put it on the evil wall breakers. We'll see though. We'll figure out that later, but I'm going to go for a monk in the back right now. I need to go for like an RG behind and pop the ability on this monk. I'm going to go for a Fisherman all the way up high, hook the Litter Prince in, or if not the Litter Prince, probably going to be the Mega Knight, but that should hook the Litter Prince, I think. Yeah, it is going to hook the Litter Prince. I'm going to pop the ability here, going to Phoenix on top. Looking good, the Phoenix should get a lot of value right now. Yeah, it's going to get a ton of value. Let's go. Okay, I'm going to let those go. That's what I was talking about when I said I can't really defend the Wall of Riggers. I could have E-Spirit logged, but I feel like it's more worth it to try to go RG on the left. Because you can't really defend this now. He only has a Litter Prince back, but should not be able to defend any of this. He might try to Bar Barrel to kill the Egg. Yeah, just go for the Bar Barrel. I'm going to go for a Monk. I'm also going to Phoenix right now, and I'm going to pop my ability whenever I think he's going to Mega Knight, which is like right now. Okay, not bad. Alright, I could hook it in, but I'm actually going to RG in the pocket. I can be aggressive because I have a good sequence going on. And I also just wanted to keep him busy defending because he has to go in to take my tower. But now he's not going to be able to go in on time, I don't think. I'm going to log right now. I mean, he could, but I think I have all the defense ready. Yeah, I'm just going to go for a fireball on the miner and the breakers. I'm just going to go for an electro spirit. going to monk over here to save the bomber. Okay, not bad. Probably shouldn't have e-spirited, but that's okay. I'm just going to go for a log. I don't even need a log. I don't think that takes my towers. So I'm going to go for RG in the pocket. Yeah, I kind of gambled with that one. Like, I let the miner do all the damage. I could have defended it. But I was kind of confident that it wouldn't take the towers. So I'm going to hop right in. All right, I'm in a match here. Deck number five is going to be the log bait rascals deck this deck is so good because prince got buffed recently and evil barrel allows a lot of output potential although i don't have evil barrel unlocked on this account but the knight and the prince in there kind of shows that you can tank from both lane barrels and evil barrel is really good in this deck but yeah this deck also counters a lot of lava hound deck like a lot of decks in the meta i don't know about goblin drill i don't think it would counter goblin drill but you could probably make a change like for example like a dark prince for a knight and it would counter goblin drill but yeah, this deck is so fun to play, and the fact that it's like, basically Prince cycle now is also really fun. I'm gonna go for a Goblin Gang in the middle, he's gonna have to log on the left, probably. And yeah, that means I can Prince on the right, I can probably Dark off on the right too, but I'm gonna hold off on it for now, because he defended that pretty well. I'm definitely gonna Princess at the bridge right now though, I'm gonna be super aggressive. The reason for this is because if I keep baiting out cards from him, he's playing Expo, so he's never going to be able to Expo in single, and I really only have to worry about the single elixir Expos. Because starting double, I can tank forever, or I can just kill the Expo in like a heartbeat. Rascals are really good, I just have to bait out a log on something else and then try to get a lot of value off the girls. I could be wrong though, but I think that's how the match will play out. Gonna go for a log right now, only one Evo, so gonna be interesting. I'll be fine though, it won't really make a difference, but yeah, I wish I had the Goblin Barrel Eva. Gonna go for a Knight in the middle to tank for the Expo. Goblin King in the back is also gonna kind of tank for it. I'm gonna Prince on the Expo to take out the Knight and also make sure that I don't get cooked by a log. I'm gonna go for a Dark Goblin in the middle and yeah, that should take it out. Even if he logs, I think I killed the Expo now. All right, I'll take that for sure, looking pretty good. I can probably Barrel and then go Princess. Okay, I'm actually going to Princess first. Oh, I should have barreled first. Okay, that was at 4 Elixir, by the way. That Tesla was literally at 4. I tried to bait out like a log with the Princess and then try to go barrel. I don't know why, but I should have done it the other way around. It's okay, though. I'm going to barrel on the tower right now. I'm also going to go for Rascals down low. Actually, wait. I'm going to play a Goblin Gang in the back. I'm not going to cycle my Rascals. I feel like they're too important for me to cycle it in the back. Okay, now I can do it. Now I can get away with it, but... I'm gonna do it at the bridge. Maybe Expo? Oh, he didn't Expo. I tried to predict it, but it's okay. Dark Goblin in the middle. I'm gonna go for a Prince on the left. Okay, I need to be careful. Nah, I'm fine. I'm gonna go for a Goblin King, and then I go for an Evo Knight on the Expo. That is gonna be a dead Expo. He definitely can't protect that for too long. 
Oh, he logged. Okay, I'm gonna Rascals on the right, and then I'm gonna Barrel on the right. He's gonna have to, like, Fireball these or something. Or, like, Night E-Spirit, whatever. E-Spirit jumped on the wrong thing. Yo, Dark Goblin on the left. Probably gonna log the left. Never mind, because Archer's on the left. But the Rascal girls are still, like, a decent threat. Okay, now I can Princess at the bridge, probably. But I probably shouldn't do it right away, because, yeah, he's been spam predicting it. I'm gonna go for a Knight in front, and then I'm gonna Rascals on the left here to take out the... Tesla, then I can pressure dual lane. Dual lane pressure is like the key in this matchup. You have to play it like it's uh, recruits. Just kind of clog up like both the lanes at all times. Gonna go for a barrel on the left. That is gonna be a lot of damage. Yo, Rascal. No, I thought it locked on the tower, but that would have been huge. Looking good though, he hasn't gotten any damage on me. I'm gonna go for a knight on the side. Gonna Rascals on the expo. Looking really good. If he logs, I'm definitely gonna Goblin Gang. Okay, I'm gonna Goblin Gang either way. He might log, so I'm gonna log myself. Okay, I got a little bit scared, so I overcommitted, but that's all good. I'm gonna go for a Dark Goblin in the middle. Probably gonna get like one shot on that tower, but I'll allow it. I don't care if the Knight gets one shot, I'm up by like so much. Gonna go for a Princess at the bridge, and that should be like a few hits. Wait, I'm gonna tank for it. Yo, <laughs> wait, is he not gonna protect? Yo, okay. I thought he would just let it go and not protect the tower, but interesting. Gonna go for a Dark Goblin on the left. Yo, Rascal's on tower. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Look how much damage she does, by the way. Per hit is like 200, guaranteed. Wow. Gonna go for a Rascal's. I'm gonna go for Log as well. I'm gonna Knight in the middle to tank for the Expo. None of his Expos have locked on for like even a second, by the way. Playing really good defense. I'm gonna go for Princess on the right. That is going to be a good game. Hope you guys enjoy the video and let me know what you guys think of the list or if I'm missing anything. I love you guys. Bye.